Now we're looking at some more benefits of seaweed and it's kind of important that looking at healthy weight management and blood sugar control are on the same slide. And the reason I say that is if we want to go and look at statistics, for example, obesity, if you've got someone who's obese, they have a really high chance of going on to develop type 2 diabetes mellitus. And in fact, the number of people who are classified as obese or the percentage of people who are classified as obese who then in turn get type 2 diabetes is 75% or three quarters of those people. So it is a huge risk factor. And, you know, we look at seaweed and we go, well, it really supports healthy weight management. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One, it's a low calorie food, but it's low in calories and it's really high in nutrients. So it's a fantastic addition to a diet because what it does is ensure that you're boosting up those vitamins and minerals, but you're not putting in too many calories. Okay. The other thing is seaweed is a really good source of fiber. Now, any food that is high in fiber is helpful for healthy weight management because it promotes satiety, that sense of feeling full. Um, the other reason it's important, and this, this transfers into blood sugar control, is because fiber then slows the release of glucose into the bloodstream. And that means that the body can deal with that glucose more efficiently. It's not getting overwhelmed. There is another way that seaweed can be beneficial and it's not necessarily all seaweeds. I guess we don't really know because the research has really focused on a particular compound, fucoxanthin, which I mentioned earlier is in the brown algaes. And fucoxanthin has been shown to upregulate expression of mitochondrial uncoupling protein one. I know it's a fancy word, but the upshot of that is that it increases metabolism and it decreases fat accumulation. So we now know the brown algaes at least have the potential to do that. It's quite possible that other algaes do as well, don't definitively know. Now with blood sugar control, I've already talk, talked about the fiber component, um, but another thing that's been observed, which relates very much to improving insulin sensitivity, is that seaweeds have an effect on an enzyme called tyrosine phosphatase. And essentially what they do is downregulate that enzyme. And that's really important because by downregulating that enzyme, you actually improve the insulin receptor capacity so it can better take the glucose into the cell. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy-uk.com.